Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the Cargo Movies German DVD release of Saviour of the Soul aka Silver Fox. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Now, I thought I would take a break from the media books and Blu-rays from the Cargo Movies collection because there was one DVD that really jumped out to me when I went through their uh, boxes that they'd sent me, and that was Silver Fox, AKA Savior of the Soul, one of my all-time favorite Hong Kong movies, which, it's just fantastic. I'm so excited. I really wish it had to come out on Blu-ray, of course. I'm still waiting on that Saviour of the Soul Blu-ray release. But this, for now, will do. Now, I say that, but I do have it, obviously, in multiple editions. Uh, the first of which is this beautiful and very, very similar in the design cover for uh, Saviour of the Soul from Made in Hong Kong, released in 1994. And this was the first time that I had ever seen this movie and it blew my mind. I mean, it was just, wow, it was incredible. Directed by Corey Yoon Kwai and David Lai, uh, partnership that has went on for absolute donkeys, of course, uh, starring the wonderful Andy Lau. Uh, Anita Moy, Kenny B, Gloria Yip. Oh, it was just, it was just amazing. Um, that was one of my all-time favorite pickups back in the day, in the VHS day. Then, of course, when the DVD market came in, I got this Universe uh, Hong Kong DVD release, and it was grand. It was good to see it again, slightly digital, digitalized. It's an early DVD release, so it wasn't perfect by any means. But I picked this up along with Part Two. Now, this part two is <laughs> a very, very different movie. Very different movie. And it may never see the light of day in the UK, even if this gets uh, a Blu-ray release further down the line, which I really, really hope it does. Um, but uh, this is a very loose adaptation of the manga and anime series City Hunter. Uh, there's some connections there to it. And of course, a very, very popular show. Uh, it's been made and remade uh, countless times. Of course, Jackie Chan's being one of the most popular from Wong Jing there. But this is quite cool. I love this movie. This is a really beautiful uh, front cover. Really like it. And of course, it is an alternate design because this is limited to 500. And this is number 210 of that 500. So there is an alternate cover out there. Uh, in terms of language options, it comes with German and Cantonese language options. However, it doesn't state if there are subtitles as yet, but I will get into it. And of course, I am gonna let you know that. And the only bonus material is uh, a trailer there. Anyway, let's slide this on out here and see what is on offer. Inside is the same cover that comes out there, which is quite nice. I really love that artwork. It is fantastic. But I, it is definitely a movie that deserves a Blu-ray release. Very nice. Wow. Okay. Inside here, I think this is a booklet. I've yet to double check that. And the gorgeous disc over here. Just going to check that. Oh, ooh, happy days. Wow. Not a reversible cover as such, but quite nice uh, to have on the back of this a little bit of poster art there. Hopefully you're seeing that. It's very sunny today for a change here in Northern Ireland. So there's some extra glare coming in that window, but that's quite nice. Very good, very good. I don't think that is an alternate um, piece of artwork for any of the other covers. I haven't seen it uh, on any of the other covers out there. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. However, this is kind of ringing a bell. So maybe that this here uh, is for the other cover. On the back there, you can see the VCD. And inside, I'm just gonna hold this all open because there's not too much to look at really. But again, it's nice to have these kind of things. This is actually, wow, 
actually the VHS uh, foldout, which is pretty cool, as it states there. I'm not too sure for what or for which country, but that's a nice, it's a nice wee extra, it's a nice wee treat. Very good, very very nice. Okay, uh, not too much more to share you there, share with you there. Sorry, I am going to go, of course. Uh, watch this, put it up against the Universe Hong Kong DVD just to see how it plays out there and then I'm going to come right back and let you know what I think. So just back after checking out the German DVD release of Silver Fox aka Saviour of the Soul. Of course Silver Fox is the name of Aaron Kwok's villainous character in this tremendous movie. I just loved watching this again. I loved returning to it. I did pop on the Hong Kong DVD for about 10 minutes to let that quality sink in. And I have to say, they're not too dissimilar as such. Now this, uh, unlike the Hong Kong one, which comes up, uh, plays in widescreen, this here seems to be, let's say, anamorphic to fill that screen. Uh, but with that, you kind of see almost like a pool in people's faces. You almost see that elongated look. Not overly distracting and not wholly disappointing by any means, but you know it's there. Uh, apart from that, the DVD quality itself was fine. It was just pretty much regular DVD quality. Uh, the subtitles were pretty clean, I have to say. And overall, I did enjoy watching it here on this German DVD. Thankfully, yes, there are English subtitles. Um, it doesn't state it on the box, which is a damn shame. But when you go in here uh, to the menu and you go down to your language options here, you do have uh, two German language options, one in 2.0, one in 5.1. Uh, the sound is pretty cool on that one. And then the Cantonese at 2.0. But you also have below here optional German and English subtitles, which is fantastic, of course. So yes, if you don't already have Saviour of the Soul, whether it's on the video that I have there from Made in Hong Kong or the Hong Kong uh, DVD release of it. And as I say, we're still waiting and hoping that Idiot Films or Eureka uh, will put this out here in the UK. I'd have to say that this is definitely worth a wee pickup if you find it at the right price. The cover is beautiful. There's not a lot of extras, unfortunately. It has got a teaser trailer on there for 45 seconds it, interestingly it is the Japanese uh, teaser trailer it's not even the German teaser trailer it's the Japanese one um, so it is pretty cool I think this is an alternate cover for it uh, if I can remember correctly seeing that on there but I do love this one I think this is the much better one here the credits were quite interesting sorry I'll jump back to that. the credits were quite interesting because it does open quite different to the Hong Kong DVD. Uh, this one opens with the title of Silver Fox, obviously. Although I do find with a lot of German movies that are retitled, it still comes up with their original title. This one, no, it comes up as Silver Fox and then goes through the credit list of English uh, names. Whereas with the Hong Kong version, it, it does come up with the um, company logo the production company logo and then goes into the Chinese credits uh, before it opens up with Aaron there but you know what overall it is a pretty decent release as I say the ratio might be slightly off the picture quality is decent uh, the subtitles are good and you know what if you get it for the right price it is absolutely well worth picking up so a thumb up for me super glad it's in the collection once again out now from Cargo Movies So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.